This is a short video of Ramun Nico. The content was filmed in Port Moresby at the CanConnex event. While the videos were taken from the Ramun Nico website, a video was also supplied by staff from Ramun Nico. The Ramun Nico project, located in Medang Province, is a world class project that produces nickel cobalt intermediate product. There are two main locations in which the mine operates important facilities that contribute to the overall production output of Ramu Nico. The first location is the Krumbukari mine, which is located on the Krumbukari plateau, 600 meters to 800 meters above sea level, and 75 kilometers to the southwest of Medeng. The second location is the Basamuk refinery. The refinery is on the coast of Basamuk Bay, 55 kilometers to the southeast of Medeng. Ramuniko is located in Medeng province. We have two big sites. One is at the, um, if you can see on our banner there, Krumbukari mine is in the Usino Bundi district, Bundi LLG of Medeng province. And our Basamuk refinery is in the Rai Coast district. Um, it's on the coastal part of Medang. Our KBK is like a uh, Kurumbukari mine is like in the highlands of Medang. Okay, this is where we mine our raw material. Our mining pit is located at Kurumbukari mine and this is where we mine and we convert the the soil and mixture of uh, those um, yeah, the gravel we convert it into um, slurry and our slurry is transported through a 135 kilometer pipeline down to our refinery site at Basamuk. And from Basamuk, that is where we process it and we extract nickel. And our nickel is transported using big ships like this to China. And from China, the finished product is made. You see the steel? Steel is made from particles of um, Nickel, the welding rod that we used to weld, car batteries, the strength in the steel, it's produced by that nickel. So, um, Ramon Nickel is the only mining company that is mining um, nickel in the country, in Papua New Guinea. It is owned by Chinese, and it is the biggest Chinese investment in Papua New Guinea, and of course, the South Pacific. In 1962, all deposits were discovered, but no developer was keen on the project because of many complexities attached to the venture. But in 2004, after the PNG government stepped in to find a developer, Ramu Nico Management, MCC, came to PNG to start the Ramu Nico project. From uh, between 1962 and uh, 2004, the license holder, Highlands Pacific, could not develop it because no developers or investors wanted to take up the project. It was viewed that the project was too complex, number one. Number two, it was not uh, viable. Three, the technology at that time was not efficient enough in terms of recovering the ore because this was a low grade ore and you need efficient uh, technology to uh, recover. So the, the Islands Pacific could not find a developer, could not find an investor and then the Islands Pacific consulted with then Prime Minister late Sir uh, Michael Sumari and the Prime Minister of PN, Papua New Guinea, went to Beijing, had a held a bilateral meeting with the President of China, and put forward this project. Though the project was not viable, the Chinese President felt that he, his, he had a good friend in the Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, here to assist. He felt obliged to assist. Uh, there then was the agreement and MCC came to Papua New Guinea in 2004. 
The government of Papua New Guinea owns no shares in Ramunico. The government, seeing the complexities and weighing out the costs it would take, decided not to venture into shareholding. The shareholders of Ramunico are MCC owns 85 percent. Nickel 28 is a Canadian stock-listed company, owns 8.56 percent. <coughs> Nickel 28 acquired the shares from Island Pacific. MRDC, which is the trustee of land owner companies, <coughs> owes 6.44%. And the PNG government decided not to participate in this project, so the PNG government does not hold any shares in this project. And the government decided that this was a risky project, <coughs> too complex, the capital cost would be very, very high, so it was best to stay out of the project. The Ramunico project looks forward to future endeavors, especially in downstream processing. We have two plans forward. One is to enter phase two of our expansion, which I talked about earlier. It's in excess of... Uh, one billion US uh, dollars we will spend. And our uh, next plan is to agree with the government of Papua New Guinea and go downstream. We will go into an industrial downstream. We signed a agreement with Kumul Minerals on 8 January 2024 and in Early April, we started the study, and the study is going to be completed by December. And after it's completed, after reading the study report, we will announce our next decision, our step towards industrial downstream projects in Papua New Guinea. We are focused on uh, smelting. We want to smelt and refine uh, nickel in onshore in PNG, uh, cobalt, uh, copper, and any other metal-based mineral that we can, we will do. We have not uh, worked out what would be our participation in the shelling, but that is something that we will discuss with in the government down the line. Ramon was at the Ken Connects Resource Week hosted by Papua New Guinea Chamber of Resources and Energy, promoting the mine and doing awareness and promoting their graduate program. Our graduate development scheme, uh, we launched it in April, uh, in May, sorry, in May this year. Uh, our first recruitment were 20, 20 new graduates from mostly from the University of Technology in Ley. And they'll be, right now as I'm speaking, they are currently going through their two-year training program. And um, they're on a rotational program of like three months from one particular department to the other for another six months or so until their two-year is completed. And then it will be up to them to whether to remain with Ramunico or they want to venture into other mining industries to um, continue their work, work. So for Ramunico, this is a system that our, our company created to create a pool of employees where it can draw from when and if needs arise for the company to, to recruit their workers. The team was satisfied with the feedback during CanConnex. According to the feedback that we are getting from our boat, many people don't know what Ramunicol does in Papua New Guinea. You know, when it comes to, when you talk about the mining industry and mine, people think, the first thing that people think it's gold or copper, but they don't know about nickel. So. From the boot, we are explaining what nickel is and what nickel does. What, what are the products that are um, created or made from nickel? So now people know that oh, so the, steel, the steel is made from nickel. 
the car batteries are made from nickel, so now they understand. And for very few, they don't know where Ramu Nicol is located and who owns Ramu Nicol, so we, we have to explain so. But um, apart from that, uh, many, many, especially the students are interested in our graduate programs, um, the graduate scheme program, and most of them inquired and they are happy to, um, I mean, they've shown interest to um, be participate in our graduate scheme program. And please like and subscribe for future notifications on Fidelis Multimedia.